What's up, guys? Whispering Pines, hole 18 here. Don't think we can get this to wedge range. Yeah, not possible. Maybe with topspin? <laughs> Maybe, if I left it right on the edge. If it, But we'd also have to be dependent upon the tailwind. Um, I usually don't shoot up into this rough. It's just not close enough. In a tailwind, <laughs> not the worst decision that I could make. Why not? I'm pretty sure I have zero content, <laughs> you know, playing this hole this way. So why not? We'll just uh, try to land this right on the edge here. Of course, curl it back. And we'll just do a voodoo shot. Of course, this might be a little bit more uh, effective with Barchetta with a little bit more hook. Um, but I'm primarily just going for the rough. So anywhere in the rough, I'm kind of cool with. I'm not worried about it over curling. But that's the reason I did it. Only because of tailwind. So keep that in mind. And we also have some uphill nature to this, so we have to over adjust slightly. So over adjust, but you'll also see that I'm gonna to try to optimize a little bit. Of course, landing on the front of this green, not the most consistent. So you'll need to find some consistency spots to it. You know, maybe right in here, it's kind of rolling true. And you can see it's just because the ball guide's not jumping all over the place. It's kind of what I mean by what, with where I'm trying to aim here. So right on this spot, it's not jumping all over. Now, what are we gonna do here is we're gonna go to our Voodoo. Because I have Voodoo scaled, this is the full length of the club. And then all I'll do is I'll take the beginning, put it at zero, and then we'll factor in. Okay, that's where it's landing. And it looks like 10, 20, 30, 40, Two? No, more than 42. Uh, looks like maybe 44. 44, keep in mind, like I mentioned, it's a little bit uphill, so I'm going to probably use a couple extra percent because of the uphill nature of the shot. But that's pretty much how easy these are to get honed in on. So we're going to go 3.6. Of course, it says 44, but we're going to go more like 46. So, uh, you know, 4.6 on the adjustment, 4.5, somewhere in there. 4.5 rings. Also keep in mind the ball guide might expand out a little bit. This could potentially come in just a little bit too hot. Not sure if this is going to alter my ball guide. Looks like it might be a little bit. But 4.5, 4.6, somewhere in that category. And in my opinion, you know, this is just pretty much equivalent, just as holdable either way. So this rough versus, and it's only because of a tailwind. This isn't the most, you know, accessible pin. And in a tailwind, it's going to be a little bit tougher of a shot. So that's why I'm like, well, we might as well go for it. Ugh. And you can see right off the edge, but it comes in with some speed. So if you do get that alignment, um, you know, you're going to drill that one. And it might have just been just a little bit too aggressive with the adjustment. So just a tad fraction, you know, maybe a tenth of a ring, two tenths. But it's real close. Um, and if you could just get that alignment. Uh, another thing, the, you know, it was uh, slightly pointed to the right wind. So maybe just a tiny bit of effect takes that just, you know, half a cup to the right. And you can see just off the edge. Um, with that, but uh, very holdable there. Good opportunity for you. Hopefully you guys can get it. Good luck with your rounds. As you can see, you know, we were able to get a couple drops. Of course, very easily could have been two or three more. Um, and with that last one, you know, arguably three or four more. So they're right there uh, for the taking. Um, hopefully these guides are making it a little bit easier for you to work through the app. Good luck with your rounds. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one.
Good luck.